what it is people and welcome to your first C++ project now as you already see I have created a project I will show you how to create it in a moment but in this video we're going to start from the very basics which are variables and before we do that let me just go over here under file and this is what you will do in order to create a project so you're going to go under file and you're going to say new and then you're going to say project and you are going to select this one right here Windows console application because we're going to use the console to print things out in order to learn everything that we need that we can implement later on in Unreal Engine and don't worry everything will be explained line by line piece by piece letter by letter so that you understand everything what is going on so of course here you will give it a name this is the name of your application this is the location where you want to store it and don't worry about the solution and this right here so solution and solution name this is not important to you at all so again just give it a name even though the name is not important but just give it a location and even though that is not important but just kidding anyways select the Windows console application not an empty project not this one but Windows console application then click OK and it will Will create it and you will see something like this or exactly this like I am seeing right here what did you know that I offer a monthly and yearly subscription to all my courses and you can get them now at 50% off just clicking on the link below so just go over there click the link below and you will learn to create all these games that you see behind me 50% off monthly or yearly subscription that's a nice deal just go and learn click the link below first of all what is this over here well you see the main class or which is well the main function not the class the main function and later on we will talk about functions don't worry about that but the execution in C++ starts in the main function it's same with all other programming languages that is how things are done in Java and many other programming languages as I already said but we are not going to use that concept when it comes to Unreal Engine, but here I need to explain it because here is where we are going to print things inside of our, well, console. This is where we are going to declare variables. This is where we are going to learn C++ that later on we will apply in Unreal Engine. But it is important for you to know that some of these things, such as this main, you will not see in Unreal Engine. But okay, we will cover that as well. So anyways, this is, as I said, a function. And when we run our game or actually this program so when I click here local windows debugger and when I click yes to run it you will see this hello world pay attention here at the top notice here in the console you will notice it over here I mean you're not blind you see it it is printed so we are printing it from over here and this is the command in C++ std colon colon c out that we are going to use to print this hello world to the console now also here you will notice things like include so what the hell is this include over here well in order to use some things like std and so on and so forth we can include the pre-built libraries or People who invented C++, who are working, who are expanding it, they have created some things, so the default things that we need to use, such as printing to the console or, I don't know, declaring variables, that is all done for us so that we don't have to do that. So that's why we use these include, and we will also see this in Unreal Engine as well. So we will include some libraries like actor components, like world, physics, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, moving forward, and just to give you a short example for using, as you can see here, we have this std colon colon c out. What we can say here is we can say using namespace std like this, and I can save this, and now I can remove this std c out. So I can remove it, and this will now work without it because we are using it. This is the built in. And if I go over here and click to run the game or our app, and I'm, I don't know why I say game all the time, but anyway, it's not important. So you see Hello World is printed in the console again. So this is when it comes to using, in our case, this is a namespace. But I'm going to put it back, so std colon colon, maybe we will use it later on, don't worry about that. But now I want to get into the variables and show you various variables that we have that we are going to use. First of all, I'm going to start with an integer. So integer is an INT, short for an integer, and this is a type of variable. So now we will see booleans, we will see floats, we will see doubles, so on and so forth. But that is a type of variable. That is important for you to know. It's a type of variable. Later on, we will see objects and so on and so forth. That is also a type of variable. 
So how do you declare a variable in C++? Well, first of all, you give it a type. So what is the type of the variable? INT in our case, which is an integer. Then you give it a name. So let's say this is our power. So we're going to say power and then you give it a declaration. So you declare it. So here you can say it's equal to, and let's say our character has a power of 100, and then we end this with a semicolon, and bam, this is our variable. So this is the type of the variable right here, and let me just control two to get my highlight tool. So this is the type of the variable, it's an integer. This right here, power, is the name of the variable, and the name of the variable is our own preference. So it is our own preference. What does that mean? You can give it here power. You can say Carl. I can say Kenny over here. It doesn't matter. But in programming, you will give meaningful names. So if this variable, you intend to use it to represent the power of the character, you're going to say power or give it the name power. You're not going to name it Kenny and then use it for power because then later on, when you come back to your project after not working on it for, let's say, two months, you're going to say, what the hell is this Kenny variable? What, what was I thinking? Was I crazy? Was I drunk? I don't know. I don't know your life, okay? But that's why you're going to say here power because then when you come back to this project after two months, you're going to say, okay, power, mm, I must be using this for the power of my character, which will be correct. Then you say the equal sign, you type out, that is I say say, but I mean type, the equal sign and then you give it a value. Now you can also do this. You can say also, for example, int health, for example, and just colon, so semicolon, end it. So here you just declare the variable. So you declare the variable health with the name health, type of integer, you didn't give it a value. Later on, you can do something like this. You can say health is equal to, I don't know, 23, for example. You can do that and, it is, and this is totally legit. But if you don't declare it, if you don't have this over here, this over here will not work. But I'm just throwing it out there to show you or to tell you, to teach you that you are not obligated to give a value to a variable right away. Sometimes you don't want to give it a value because then you will maybe calculate, let's say the position of the player, then you will store that position in a vector variable or F vector. We will see that later on in Unreal Engine. Don't worry about that. But yeah, so integers are whole numbers. This is also in math and don't worry, don't be scared. Like people are, when I say math, they're like, oh, math, he mentioned math, I cannot learn math, I cannot learn programming. Learn. Don't worry about that, man, calm down, calm down. We will see basic operations. It, it's only addition, subtraction, we will see, don't worry. It's very basic. If you know how much two plus two is, you will know how to program, okay? Going back to our integer, what is an integer? I mean, what kind of number that is? An integer is a whole number. So it is used to represent whole numbers. So in our case, we have here 10. You can use it to represent, I don't know, 103, 15, 2 million, 30, blah, blah, blah. But it is representing a whole number. Now, integers have a limit how large of a number you can put over here. I don't know. I didn't look it up. I don't care. It's not important. You can, if you are interested to know, go on Google type, what is the maximum value an integer can store in C++ and then you will see. But I've been coding for more than five years and I have never, let's pretend this is the maximum number an integer can hold. I have never typed this whole number like this when I stored in an integer. Okay. So yeah, but that's some kind of general knowledge that you can know. I'm not going to say you should, but you can know. Okay, so integers are whole numbers. What is the next thing that we have? We have something that's called a float. And let's say we give it a name health and let's go over here and I'm going to declare it and that is gonna be equal to three. What is the difference between a float and an integer? Well, a float is a decimal point number. Now, we also have a double, so I'm going to go here, double. Let's say this is mana, mana, or however this is called. I'm going to say here five. Now, what is the difference between a float and a double? Because I said both of these are decimal point numbers. Well, if we want to use a float or denote that this is a float, we can add here F at the end. It will start complaining right away. Now, the reason for that is because we now need to say point, for example, three or point two or point one or simply point, so you can say 0 0.0, 3.0, 0, or 3 point. That will also be equivalent to 3.0, but now the compiler will know that this is, well, a float with a value of three. 
Also here for the double, you can say something like 5.5. So yeah, that is totally legit. But if you don't add F at the end, then well, C++ will think that you actually created a double. So when we declare a float, add F at the end to tell, okay, this is a float. And again, what is the difference? Well, this is a decimal point number. This is a decimal point number. This one has a little bit larger storage, same as with our integer. So for example, here you can maybe, it's precise up to this number over here, and this one is precise up to this number over here. I'm not 100% sure what that number is, but anyways, most of the time you will use a float. I've been coding again for five years, creating games. I've probably created more than 100 games and I've probably created more than 200 games and tutorials and whatnot. So uh, I've been using floats all the time. Rarely, I don't remember that I use a double, not even once, but again, you can use it. So my obligation here is to teach you that we also have a float and a double, okay? So both of them are decimal point numbers. So here I'm going to say, for example, I don't know, four point. Where did I go? So four point. I say four, but I type three. And here I'm going to say 6.7 like this. So this is a float and this is an integer or actually a double, excuse me. So these are three types of variables that we have. What is the next type of variable that we have? We have something called a Boolean, which we are going to declare by bool, and this can only have two values. It can either be true or it can either be false. So we have a bool, let's say is dead, and this is used to denote if the player is dead, and we can either say it's true or we can say it's false. Why only true and false, you probably are asking? Well, because in programming, there is something called a control flow that based on one output or based on one condition, we will do one thing based on another condition, we will do another thing and that condition is tested if it's true or not. So for example, if player's health is less than or equal to zero, player dead will be equal to true, we will then kill the player. So yeah, so booleans, again, we declare it by typing bool, give it a name and every single variable in programming language, in every programming language that I've worked so far and I used Java, C Sharp, Swift, and now C++. So these four programming languages I use a lot. I mean, <laughs> these three others more than C++, but yeah, I, I started using it a lot as well. But what I want to point out is that you declare a variable by its type, you give it a name, you give it a value, or you don't give it a value if you want to assign the value later on. So Boolean is that name, it's equal to either true or false. Moving forward, what is the next type of character that we have, or character variable? So we have something called a char, and I, well, blew it up over here. And I can say, for example, one underscore letter, and that is equal to S, but we need to say in these single quotes. And a character can store one character. So you see here, we have an S, one letter, we store one character. Again, this is something that you will rarely use. I, you know, in my career uh, as a programmer and doing tutorials and whatnot, I don't believe that I have ever used a character except to explain what it is. But hey, maybe there will be something that you will use it for. So a character stores a single character as you see over here. But now you're probably wondering, okay, we only have one single character. Is there something that we can store multiple characters like a word? Well, yes, there is. There is something called a string. And I can, for example, say here player name. So player name and I can say, I don't know, Hogan, uh, I don't know, Carl the Great, okay, Carl the Great, like this, okay. So yeah, these are the main variables that we are going to use to create all our games. And yes, these are the variables, like basically this is all you're going to use to create the games, of course, with some functions and libraries and the help of the engine. But when it comes to variables, this is what we are going to use. And for example, now, instead of having here, hello world, we can remove all that and we can say the name of my character is, and I can say call on here, and I can say this less than, less than sign, and pass here my player name. Now this is going to give me an error, it's not going to work. The reason for that is because here on top, we talked about this include, I need to go here and include a string because we want to use a string. So now everything is fine, everything is totally okay. And if I go back over here and click to run this app, we will see here in 
the console, the name of my character is Carl the Great. And here it's actually the Great like this. So yeah, you see now here it is printed Carl the Great. And of course, same way we can print these other variables, we can print the letter, we can print is dead, mana, blah, 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 blah. We will see how the printing will go, even though that is not that important for Unreal Engine, because in Unreal Engine we will, well, not print like this, we will use Unreal Engine's built-in printing function, blah, 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 but it will be important for us over here so that we learn and we can print things to the console. So these are the variables that we are going to use throughout our development, this one, less but all the uh, all these others more so yeah this is the introduction to variables and these are the variables that we are going to use if something is not clear comment below and ask and i will help you out and until then fire here from usdudes.com i'll see you guys in another video what did you know that i offer a monthly and yearly subscription to all my courses and you can get them now at 50 percent off just clicking on the link below so just go over there Click the link below and you will learn to create all these games that you see behind me. 50% off monthly or yearly subscription. That's a nice deal. Just go and learn. Click the link below.